Michelle here from Vet Medics. I have my little friend Max here with me. So we have a guest coming shortly, Tyrion. It's my assistant, Joe. Everybody knows Joe with Vet Medics. His dog, Tyrion, who is an English bulldog. And Joe has been noticing a smell, odor, if you will, about Tyrion. So stay tuned to find out where that smell is coming from. Okay, everyone, we have Tyrion here. He is a young English bulldog who has a stinky hiney, according to his owner, Joe. Very so, stinky. what we're doing today is checking Tyrion's anal glands. Ew! All right, so I have all my supplies here. Gloves, because, well, you'll know why in a moment. Some lubricant wet wipes to clean up the little mess and then some doggy cologne to make him feel nice and fresh and smell real good afterwards in case you don't know what anal glands are in a dog they are actually scent glands and if you look at their little cute little hiney here if you think of a clock 12 o'clock here six three and nine you're going to look at the four o'clock and the eight o'clock position and that's where the glands are located just inside of the anus. Doesn't that sound gross? And when a dog has a bowel movement or if they get excited or scared, these glands will release a liquidy, very strong scented odor. That's why when you see dogs walking around smelling each other's hineys, they're smelling their scent. So, but sometimes, the liquid inside the anal glands can become thickened or impacted and they need our assistance to release that. So I'm going to demonstrate today how to do that. Hopefully Tyrion is a good patient He's and his owner is a good handler. We'll yes. find out. We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> Let me put my bib on because sometimes it can get a little messy. No, I'm just being funny. Okay. so gonna put just a little bit of lubricant on my gloved up fingers okay and since Tyrion doesn't have much of a tail he's got this little corkscrew tail but if we lift it up if he lets me <laughs> you'll see his little hiney so I'm going to go in about mm, a quarter of a fingers length Boy. Go nice and slow. Good job, buddy. And what the anal glands feel like if they're full, they're going to feel like small grapes. Mm -hmm. I know. And what I'm going to do is from the inside, my thumb is going to be located outside in that 8 o'clock or 4 o'clock position. And my finger inside is going to be touching that gland and I'm going to squeeze it together. And that's why I have my towel here yeah, buddy. to Good catch job. any liquid that may come out. Boy. And his are full. Okay. And they're thick though. Mm. So it's yeah, not boy. expressing very easily. Oh boy. All right. Yeah. I know, buddy. I know. All right. It'll make you feel better. Now I can smell it now. Then I'm going to go to the other side. You got the one side. I can smell it. Good boy. Okay. Oh yeah. And then I'm just gonna wipe around it. it has a very strong musky scent to fishy. it. Kind of almost fishy. But they did express actually kind of easy, a little bit easier than I thought. The one on the left was a little thickened, but not too bad. Mm -hmm. And he was very good. He's a very good boy. Yeah. You're going to feel better now. Signs like that off. will help show you that the glands are full or irritating is dogs will a lot of the times lick their hiney. They will also do the scoot 
I don't know if you see those commercials on TV where the dog is sitting on its bum and scooting across the floor. They're trying to release the pressure or release that fluid out to release the pressure. So that's why they do that. Now he has some cologne yeah, and he's good to go. Better. Yay! You're all better now. Yay. Well, thank you. Ta da! Yay. Ta -da, ta -da. So, if you've noticed that your dog has had a certain odor about them or scooting on the floor or kind of licking in the rear end a little bit, this video should be helpful to help solve that issue. And if you've enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and give us a share.